Hi, this video is for those who are interested in the subject of excitotoxicity, uh, which is nowadays in the cutting edge of neurology and um, is the greatest challenge that a neurology is facing today. And uh, I'm not a neurologist, I work as a nutritionist. And um, my focus is on nutrition and the brain. So um, obviously the subject interests me because it's intimately connected with what we eat. And uh, as you know, this um, <coughs> excitotoxicity happens to a great degree as a result of ingesting MSG, monosodium glutamate. Um, so we need to stay away from foods that contain monosodium uh, glutamate. Uh, but that, as you will see, is quite challenging. And it is challenging because of the deceptive labels through which the industry disguises the MSG in collusion with, of course, the FDA that allows for this situation, right? So um, you need to know what labels you will find that will indicate you that in that particular food there could be MSG, right? And, uh, and then if you find any of these, just stay away from it. Stay away from that food. That's not good food. You know, it's uh, contaminated in a way with MSG. So this is from the book from Dr. Blaylock. Many of you may know it already, Russell Blaylock. And it's a, an excellent source of information. Uh, so here is what um, he has to say about this. Additives that always contain MSG. Always, okay? Monosodium glutamate, of course. Hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Hydrolyzed protein. I would suggest that you really write these things down. I'm going to start again. Monosodium glutamate. Hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Hydrolyzed protein. Hydrolyzed plant protein. Sounds very healthy, right? Plant protein. Plant protein extract always has MSG. Sodium caseinate. Calcium caseinate. Yeast extract. Textured protein. Autolyzed yeast. And hydrolyzed oat flour. So these guys, they all have MSG every time. Now, additives that frequently contain MSG, so frequently means, you know, you better stay away from them, right? So you read these things in the label, stay away from them. Malt extract, malt flavoring, bouillon, broth, stock, flavoring, natural flavoring natural beef or chicken flavoring seasoning and surprise spices spices <laughs> smsg sometimes often <laughs> so you see that label you know what to do now additives that may contain MSG or excitotoxins may contain so also stay away from them carrageenan enzymes soy protein concentrate soy protein isolate 
and whey protein concentrate. <clears throat> so keep this in mind, you know, and uh, avoid these foods. This is the first line of defense against brain excitotoxicity. But as you may see, it's easy to make a mistake. So if you make a mistake, I highly recommend that you stop the the excitotoxicity in the brain as soon as possible. And um, Dr. Blaylock, in his book, he explains that one dosage of MSG can keep your glutamate levels too high for two days. So, above all, stay away from these things, you know. Plus, in, a, in this way, by not, by not buying any product that contain these things, you are giving a very strong message to the industry. Look, you need to clean your act here. This is not acceptable, and it's not. It's uh, criminal, right? So now, <clears throat> if you fail to, 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 to stay away from those things for any reason, you know, then you notice any symptom that is indicating you that there is an excitotoxin reaction in your brain, um, don't panic. There is something you can do. Now, this information is from this magazine, March 2016, from the Life Extension Foundation. And the, the title of the article is Theanine Preserves Cognitive Function. So it's in page 61, I think, right? page 61 and you can uh, read it it's extensive I'm not gonna read it here of course but it's worthwhile reading and I just want to say that in my own experiments with excitotoxicity because I do have this challenge now and then it happens and then what I do what I have been doing with the L-theanine is trying to put it directly under the tongue and uh, that has worked very well. It, it really calms down the brain um, and in this case I have a symptom where I bruxate and uh, it stops. So um, I would recommend that you try that. Now every organism is different, you know, I, I can't say that this is going to work for everyone. Uh, with just 15 milligrams under the tongue, this uh, the L-theanine, which doesn't taste anything, I open the, the capsule and put it under my tongue and let it rest there and dissolve. And with that, it's enough to stop the symptom. <clears throat> so, will it work for you? I don't know. Uh, this is, you know, new front, a new frontier in science and um, but in May uh, L-theanine is very calming and uh, the art what the article explains is that L-theanine will take the the receptors that are used by glutamate so that glutamate won't be able to function and to operate and then uh, uh, in that way the brain will stop the the overactivation that happens with excitotoxicity. So stay healthy and uh, <clears throat> keep uh, your brain in good health. Uh, it's, it's essential. I mean, if your brain is in good health, uh, then your whole body will also tend to be in good health. Um, the aging process mostly affects the neurological system first. Um, not always, but um, most anti-aging anti -aging, uh, approaches today are targeting the brain for good reasons. So um, keeping your brain in good conditions as you age is really essential. And if you're interested in uh, brain nutrition in, uh, as a specialty inside nutrition, you can visit our website at um, brainoptimization.com 
is uh, the website for our institute, uh, Brain Optimization Holistic Institute. And then in that page, you will find at the top on the left hand side a tab that reads certifications. You click there and then uh, you will go to a landing page and you choose the link that leads to the description of the five month certification course in brain optimization with emphasis in nutrition. It's uh, an excellent and very complete uh, curriculum and um, if you're interested in these matters I highly recommend that you check it out. You can also find the link down below this YouTube. So stay healthy and, and keep your brain young. Take care.